It's a busy day at Baghdad International Airport, packed with Iraqis for whom life hasn't worked out the way they'd hoped. Their visit to Europe, they say, was at best a disappointment. At worst, it was a dangerous place to stay. Some experienced racism, others were frustrated by delays in the resettlement process. Most just didn't feel welcome, so they've come back to Iraq, back to the violence and unrest, but also back to a place they call home. I've returned to Iraq because there are so many refugees in Europe and the resettlement process is very slow. Only a small number of people are processed. The Iraqi authorities have given us a lot of help to enable us to return quickly. They want as many refugees as possible to come back to Iraq. Iraqi government sources estimate that around 117,000 people left Iraq for Germany last year. Up to 40 percent have already returned. Some blame the squalid conditions in refugee camps. Others say it became clear they'd only be allowed to stay in Europe temporarily. Amar is one of a growing number of Iraqis who've returned home. Last year he lived in Germany and Finland before settling in Sweden. He spent eight months waiting for residency papers to be processed without success. Eventually, he gave up trying. The Swedish authorities aren't doing enough to help refugees. Many, like me, have had to return home. I decided to come back to Iraq when I heard the Swedish Prime Minister saying that Sweden would only give temporary residence to refugees. He said that once our countries were stable, we'd have to go back. Amar arrived in Europe with high hopes, but they were quickly dashed. He says he didn't feel welcome. Europe to me was a lie. I expected something different. People in Europe are concerned about the humanitarian situation, but there's also a lot of racism. Airport staff are preparing for more busy days in the weeks and months ahead. The Iraqi government is issuing refugees with temporary passports to enable them to come home quickly. It expects that up to a thousand Iraqis a month will return home from Europe this year. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.